Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Tiffany from McDonough Public Library and I am here again to tell you about five brand new picture books that we have received in our Henry County Library system. If you see any books in this video that you want to check out, look at the information below the video so that way you can find out how to do that, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to get started with our five books. I'm going to start with our youngest reader titles and then move to the older reader titles. So I will show you the cover, I will tell you the author and illustrator, and then I'll read the inside of the book. All right, let's get started. First, we have Glad Glad Bear by Kimberly Gee. And as you can see, our little bear is a ballerina. Let's open it up and see what it says. What makes you glad? I'll show you what makes this little bear glad. Look at what it is doing. It is dancing in a cute little tutu. Kimberly Gee keeps a list of things that makes her glad. She looks at that list when she's feeling unsure or a little afraid, and then she feels happy again. Some things on that list are bear cubs. Hmm, what do we see here? It's a bear cub, tutus, and the bear is wearing a tutu. Dancing. If you see those little hands moving around, looks like bears dancing. Bear cubs wearing tutus, dancing. She put all these things together in this book and that makes her very, very glad. So if you want a book about things that just make someone happy or to think about what makes you happy, check out Glad Glad Bear by Kimberly Gee. Right, our next book is also having to do with babies, but these are little human babies. Our Baby Builders by Alyssa Hayden Guest and illustrated by Hiro Nakata. Babies bulldoze, switch that gear. Beep, beep, baby, watch your rear. Join these bustling babies in their hard hats and neon vests as they dream big and work hard to make their blueprint come to life. With lively rhyming text by Alyssa Hayden Guest and irresistible, adorable artwork by Hiro Nakata, this book is perfect for young readers obsessed with construction vehicles, babies, and how things get built. So that was Baby Builders. All right, up next is... Alphonse, There's Mud on the Ceiling by Daisy Hurst. Natalie and Alphonse love living in their apartment on the seventh floor, so they live in a big building. They have a bunk bed bus to drive, flowers to water on the balcony, and almost enough room to tumble in the hallway. But there's some games, like Wiggling Worms, that is not good for indoors, and soon they've made a real mess. There's even mud on the ceiling. Dad suggests a trip to the park where Natalie and Alphonse decide to live in the wild, but maybe they can find a way to bring some wilderness back up to their apartment on the seventh floor. Monster siblings Natalie and Alphonse return to into this warm and witty story about making the most of where you are. And here is a picture of one of the little monster siblings. So, if you want a story about being inside and having to find out different ways to have fun, this might be perfect for you because on the back it looks like they're trying to bring home some outside in so they can figure out how to have fun even though they live in an apartment. Okay, our next story is Small World. The words, it's written by Ishta Mercur Mercurio and the pictures are by Jean Chorus. When Nanda is born, the whole of her world is the circle of her mother's arms. But as she grows, the world grows too. It expands outward, from her family to her friends, and from the city to the countryside. And as it expands, so does Nanda's wonder in the underlying shapes and structures patterning it. Cables and cogs, fractals in the snow, elaborate structures of glass and stone, Eventually, Nanda's world expands so far that she's able to see the small circle of the earth 
from very far away. A stunning geometric mediation on wonder, Small World is a modern classic with an out-of-this-world illustrations that express our big and small place in this vast universe. So it starts with Nanda as a baby, and the story goes all the way to her being a grown-up and how the world shapes change around her. Okay, our last story is My Poppy Has a Motorcycle by Isabel Quintero and illustrated by Zeke Pina. Oh, I love this illustration inside, so I'm going to show it for you. Or show it to you. <laughs> Vroom! When Daisy Ramona zooms around her neighborhood with Poppy on his motorcycle, she sees the people and places she's always known. The Tortilleria, Abuela's Church, Frankie the Barking Labradoodle. She also sees a community that is changing around her. But as Daisy and her Poppy reach the home stretch, the purple, blue, and gold, the sky glowing behind them, she knows that some things, like the love of her poppy and her family, will never change. With vivid illustration and text bursting with heart, My Poppy Has a Motorcycle is a young girl's love letter to her hardworking dad and to the feeling of home that we always carry with us. It really is such a sweet, sweet story. It is also um, this book and this book. Our nominees for our Georgia Children Book Award illustrator titles are picture books. So if you read both of them, and there's um, 18 other ones, you can vote on your favorite one, and it might be the winner of the Georgia Children Book Award picture book nomination. Okay, well that is it. That is our five new titles for this time. Um, I will be doing more videos as we get new books in, so be on the lookout for those. And while you're here on our HDLS um, YouTube channel. Go ahead and look and see what other videos we have. All right, have a great day.